Hi YouTubers, this is Gil. So, this is now October 1st, 2019. So, welcome to October 2019. So, <clears throat> as you can see, this is the last October of the decade. And <clears throat> for this video, we're going to talk about we're going to talk about how um, people used to celebrate Halloween in the 70s and 80s and how how did I used to celebrate and well perhaps even what what I can remember how I used to dress or what <clears throat> what I was for Halloween you know so <clears throat> well during the 70s and the 80s I think it seems like um it's, it just seems to me that it, it was more livelier as far as I could describe it about how how um, we used to actually uh, trick or treat like well I mean how did we used to celebrate well I mean it's kind of like the same way we do right now I mean like today in today's times 2019 you know well, you know, like, if I can remember how we used to celebrate, I mean, it was, like I say, it was the same. It's kind of like the way we celebrate it right now. But, I mean, if I remember, like, how things were for us as a kid and how, how exciting it was. I remember, well, apparently it was really exciting for us whenever it was kind of Halloween, you know, because, you know, going out for the trick-or-treating and stuff. Hmm. I can remember... In my early years in the seventies, I I was Batman. I want I I liked being Batman for Halloween and Arnold. I think Robin, if I can remember, and I don't remember about Hector, but <clears throat> I do know that I I used to dress up as Batman. But you know what? I remember like these costumes. They used to be like they used to have these plastic. It was kind of like plastic. Um, plastic um co overalls or coveralls so to speak in a mask remember those but those masks i never used to have them on because it was just too uncomfortable those masks remember remember those things remember those masks you know like the uh, with the picture of the face of me of uh, what do you call it um batman and robin i know arnold i know at least on that's all i can remember for like one of those years but I know in the in the eighties, as particularly the early eighties and maybe late seventies and early eighties, we had. I mean, I used to actually dress up like like a lumberjack or some. Or my dad, you know, I borrowed my one of my dad's shirts, you know, and we used to um, well, and my mom, and my mom painted my face like like a lumberjack or whatever we call them. And then, and then, and then we used to put a pillow on my chest to make my stomach bulge, to make me look like a big lumberjack, you know, one of those type of uh, people, like, just a man, you know, we would call it, like, a male, just a man, you know, a grown man. I was like a grown man for Halloween. You remember? Well, in, in the areas that we had Halloween in, you know, there was Santa Ana and Covina. Well, Covina, like in the early 80s, you know. Well, it was pretty lively, if I remember, you know, like Halloween, you know. It was always pretty lively for us, you know. I, everywhere we went, there was always a trick or two. There was, a, like, lots of candy. And I remember in the 70s, we used to get a, a, a whole lot of candy. We used to get a... A load, a big load of candy. I mean, we used to we used to get a load of them back in the day, you know. Well, I think even today, some youngsters can still get. It. I think it's all the same still, as far as I know. But the thing is, as of now, well, I don't know. I mean, I think it might be just my area, or I don't know. But <clears throat> it it seems like it's been less lively. For the trick or treaters lately, for Halloween, like lately, like in the past, like few years or in the last say past decade, 
I feel like it's becoming less and less trick-or-treaters. I feel like that's the way it is, but it might be just my area, but it was a couple of years ago where we went to Rialto, like, like in the, in the Rialto area, like in the really nice areas. <clears throat> it seemed like there was a lot of trick-or-treaters there. Well, I guess apparently. I mean, I think, I think, I, mean, I think it's just my area. I think the trick-or-treating, I think it's all the same as far as I know. I mean, how we used to celebrate it, I, I, I think it's all the same as far as I know. I mean, from before and back then. But, of course, the costumes were probably a little bit different. I know, like, some costumes, like, a standard costume had, like, the, had, like, the uh, plasticky um, overalls, coveralls. And then we had this big plastic mask, very uncomfortable mask. We used to have, though, that's what we used to have. Unfortunately, I really don't think I have any pictures of um, Halloween back in the 80s. And apparently, I don't have any videos. Not, not, <clears throat> not even from 1988 and any 89, you know. So, I mean, I, I would say it's basically the same, you know. As far as I know, it's the same, you know. Like, uh, some of the, the costumes, I think, are a little bit different, probably, but... I think the costumes are a little bit more like, um, how do you call it? I mean, they're not plasticky anymore, or I haven't seen them. They're probably more like cloth clothing-like, more like clothing-like, you know, like, but back in the day, you know, in the 70s anyway, I mean, it was pretty common for them to have these plasticky, plastically, um, plasticky, um, uh, <clears throat> coveralls, you know, coveralls. Which was pretty uncomfortable back in the day, and a lot of times, you know, it was pretty uncomfortable, you know. But I mean, it was just for the night, you know. But especially the mask, we never used to keep those on because it was just unbearably uncomfortable, you know. So that's why we used to do. But <clears throat> but I know, like one of those years, I, I mean, the typical thing I was was like a big man with the big stomach, like looking like a grown man and I was like 11 years old and I was dressed up like a, a grown man like I am now <laughs> well anyway um so I mean it's all the same and parties if we're talking about parties I mean I think it's all the same that I know of you know I mean <clears throat> that's all I have to say I mean yeah so anyway now you got to check out what I have in this garage here this garage is pretty coolly decorated right now. Yeah, I have it pretty decorated in here. You gotta check it out. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna need to see this garage. Check this out. <clears throat> Put the <clears throat> pretty 
cool, huh? And I'd probably like to be passing out candy here, but... I'm telling you. <coughs> okay, so, well, anyway. So, this is uh, what I have to say about it. That's what the vlog is about to, for the day. That's pretty cool, huh? Look at that. Garage is on fire. The house is on fire. Telling you. See that? The garage is on fire. <laughs> Telling you. So anyway, <clears throat> right. So that's that. Alrighty. So I hope you liked this video here. So, so okay. So I hope you liked this video. So I'm telling you, I'm thinking I should still try to throw a Halloween party, but. I'm pretty bad with with um, um, how I call it hosting sometimes though. I get too shy you know but of course all of y'all you know are always welcome in here though I'm telling you all right.